Black and White 3 has been one of the biggest topics in the Pokemon community recently, so I just wanted to talk about some theories about the game. Also, this trailer footage is made by Nate Tendo. It's just a fan-made trailer. It's not an official one, but it's really well edited, so make sure to check out the full trailer on his channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think about this trailer. I think it's awesome, but it got me thinking about a few things. The two major things that I'm thinking about is the graphic slash art style and about the original dragon and is that going to be like the main storyline in a future possible black and white 3 game. If you don't know what the original dragon is, that's basically Zekrom, Kiram, and Reshiram combined in one before they split, which we haven't actually seen the original dragon, like we don't really know much about it other than it did once exist. I think it would be awesome for a trilogy of black and white games to end its story giving us a full background and breakdown of the original dragon. Because Black and White 3, if that is going to be the name of a future Unova game, it would be a trilogy of Pokemon games, which would be the first time that's ever happened. So alongside with these Black and White 3 rumors, there's also these rumors about an open world Unova game, which I'm sure all of you already know already, but I'm just bringing it up just in case you don't know about it. So rather than the title Black and White 3, my theory is that the open world legend style Unova game, whatever they're going to call it, is technically going to be Black and White 3, just masked under a different name. So it's not going to be called Black and White 3, but like everything in it, the storyline, is basically what they would do in Black and White 3, but they're just going to call it something else. And I feel like that's going to happen so they can get away with using the open world style, because if they were to release a game called Black and White 3, I feel like fans would be disappointed that it's not like the pixelated sprite style animation like you know how black and white 2 and black and white were so i feel like fans wouldn't like that and then they wouldn't like black and white 3 because of that so i think nintendo would probably name it you know legends kira legends you know about whatever they would name it they might not even name it legends they might just come up with a brand new title but i think that would make sense for them so they could use you know modern day 3d animations new graphics and everything like that and since time travel is extremely prevalent in the scarlet and violet storyline it's just heavily based around it like at the very end you fight a guy from the future and everything like that the paradox pokemon all from the future and apparently there's a character in the upcoming dlc for scarlet and violet that has heavy relations to the leaked unova game so i feel like time travel is also going to be a huge part of the upcoming unova game so with that a theory that i have is that we're going to go back and forth from the past present and the future in that game and if we go back to the past we'll see a lot of stuff about the original dragon you know see maybe when it's split or maybe moments that led up to its splitting and we'll go back to the present day to make sure everything's safe in the nova region maybe make sure we're not breaking any timelines or whatever branching out and then we'll go to the future to see how everything turned out to make sure everything is okay and safe and if we do actually get to travel back in time in this possible black and white 3 or unova whatever game it's going to be called like wouldn't it be really cool to have the og pokemon graphics if you go back to the past we get to see the unova region once again as the pixelated sprite style gameplay i'm not exactly sure what it's called that's just what i call it the you know pixelated sprite style I'm sure that there's a term for it. If you know it, leave it in the comments, please. But like, that'd be kind of cool because fans want to go back to that so bad. But I understand why Pokemon and Nintendo aren't going back to that original style because it's, they did it for, you know, like 20 years or something like that. And more recently with the Switch, all the Pokemon games on the Switch, in my opinion, are extremely experimental in the way that they're all just like different animation styles, all different graphics. I had just a modern day... 3D-ish style animation graphics, but with the same linear play style, like it wasn't open world at all. So Sword and Shield also had, you know, the modern 3D graphics and stuff, which that game was kind of interesting because it was linear in some aspects, but then there were some areas that were open world. So it's kind of like Nintendo was pushing out that open world a little bit. Then moving along to Arceus, completely open world game, different graphics, which I thought the open world was great. I loved Legends Arceus amazing pokemon game right there brilliant diamond shining pearl of course chibi art style L brilliant diamond shining pearl is of course a remake but instead of the like pixelated graphics they made it a chibi art style with the same you know linear play style so no open world at all in that game which is great but fans hated the chibi style so if they do remakes in the future or if they did black and white 3 they're not there's no way they're going with chibi art style people really hate it on that and then uh scarlet and violet completely new graphics once again completely different version of an open world style pokemon game where it's just like where you could travel around the entire map without having to like teleport and stuff because in legends Arceus you could go you couldn't travel on the entire map in like one one movement you know what i mean you had to 
go to one specific region of that map and then you have to like fly whatever teleport to the other part of the map if that makes sense hopefully i'm explaining that right but so it's like every single game on the switch has been extremely different from the last which i think is kind of cool so i think black and white 3 or legends you know whatever it's gonna be called will also be extremely different and i think they're kind of over the pixelated graphics they did it for so long and i think they're really experimenting with new things so maybe they'll just give us a new updated refreshed 3d graphics i think they're gonna do a good job at least i hope i'm staying hopeful with that nintendo and you know the pokemon company they're gonna really have to do a good job though with these black and white games because black and white and black and white 2 are so loved by the fans and they've become so popular over the years even though they're not the highest selling pokemon games of all time like they're some of the fan favorite games right there people love these black and white unova games so if they mess it up people are going to be really upset as they were with brilliant diamond and shining pearl fans were upset because the same magical feel of the original diamond and pearl games wasn't there almost like i still enjoyed the games but it wasn't it's just not as fun as the original it just felt a little different so they're gonna really have to put a lot of time and effort into a possible legends unova or black and white 3 i don't necessarily know if it's gonna be called black and white 3 i don't really know if it's gonna be legends game either once again all the stuff in this video is all theoretical it's all just like rumors leaks or theories and stuff like that so nothing confirmed by nintendo at all we just have leaks of a unova game coming out soon Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.